Imagine a young woman armed only with binoculars, patience, and a childhood dream, stepping into the dense jungles of Africa alone. This was Jane Goodall in 1960. No university degree, no formal scientific training, just an unwavering passion for animals ignited by reading Tarzan as a child. She dreamt of living amongst wild creatures, understanding them not as specimens, but as individuals. Renowned paleoanthropologist Louis Leakey saw that spark, that unique perspective, and took a chance, sending her to Gombe Stream National Park in Tanzania to study wild chimpanzees. The world was skeptical. How could someone without traditional qualifications possibly succeed? The early days were challenging. The chimpanzees were elusive, vanishing like shadows whenever she approached. Weeks turned into months, filled with quiet observation, meticulous note-taking, and immense patience. Jane refused to see the chimps as mere numbers. She gave them names, David Greybeard, Flo, Fifi, recognizing their distinct personalities, a practice frowned upon by the rigid scientific community of the time. She endured solitude, tropical diseases, and the constant pressure to produce results. Then came the breakthrough that would stun the world. One crisp morning, Jane observed David Greybeard stripping leaves off a twig and using it as a tool to fish termites from a mound. Until that moment, humans were defined as man the toolmaker. Jane's discovery shattered that definition. Her simple telegram to Leakey read, now we must redefine tool, redefine man, or accept chimpanzees as humans. It sent shockwaves through anthropology and biology. This was just the beginning. Over years, Jane's patient immersion revealed the complex social structures, emotional depth, and even the darker side, warfare and cannibalism, Within chimpanzee society, she documented mother-infant bonds, intricate communication, and problem-solving skills, forcing science to reconsider the uniqueness of humankind and our relationship with the animal kingdom. But observing wasn't enough, as Jane witnessed the growing threats of habitat destruction and poaching, decimating the chimpanzee populations she loved. Her role evolved. She transitioned from scientist to a tireless global advocate, establishing the Jane Goodall Institute and the Roots and Shoots program, empowering young people worldwide to act for a better future for animals, people, and the environment. Jane Goodall's journey teaches us the power of perseverance, the importance of challenging convention, and the profound impact one individual's passion can have. Her life is a testament to hope and the belief that every single one of us can make a difference every single day. What small step can you take today to make a positive impact on our planet? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, even the smallest action contributes to the larger tapestry of change. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next story.